A-B testing is the process of showing two or more versions of your app page to different segments of store visitors so you can determine which version performs best. In other words, A-B testing takes the guesswork out of the optimization process by measuring the impact that ASO changes have on your top metrics. Both Apple and Google provide tools to create alternative versions of your app page and show these to different users at random. Google refers to A-B testing as store listing experiments. On Google Play, you can create up to three variations of your app page where you can test your app's icon, screenshots, video, feature graphic, short description, and long description. Apple's version of store listing experiments is called product page optimization. Apple only released its native A-B testing feature in 2021, so it's not yet as robust as Google's. Apple also allows you to create up to three variations of your app page, but you can only test your app icon, screenshots, and preview video. Now, before you get started setting up tests or experiments, it's very important to define your goals, formulate a hypothesis, and create a plan. Failing to do so might result in inconclusive results. So let's go over the steps that you need to follow to create an effective A-B testing strategy on the App Store and Google Play. The first step is to define your goals. Before you run an A-B test, define your goals and the metrics you'll use to determine whether the experiment has been successful. Think about why you want to update your assets and what you hope to get out of the experiments. For example, in chapter one, we highlighted a case study from the game Tiny Tower and how it increased its app visibility by A-B testing different creatives. Before setting up the experiments, the team defined the following goal, to make the game more attractive to modern players while maintaining its originality. The metric Nimblebit defined would measure the success of the A-B test was the app's conversion rate. Thanks to this clearly defined goal, the team better understood the direction to go in when designing new icons and understanding the metrics to look at to define success. Next, formulate a hypothesis. Once you've identified your goal, you can start generating ideas about what to test. Define why you think changing these elements will help your app perform better and formulate hypotheses. Remember, A-B testing is about making data-driven decisions. Formulating hypotheses or predictions will help you to decide whether or not it will be worth updating your app page with the winning version. Once you've done this, you can start creating the different variations. The next step in your testing journey is to create different variations of your assets based on your hypothesis. We generally recommend making bold rather than subtle changes. Testing drastically different versions of your icon, for example, would result in faster, more reliable results. In comparison, if you only change incremental changes, you run the risk of not getting valuable insights. This could also mean you might have to run your tests for longer to ensure reliability. However, be sure to only test one variable or hypothesis at once. For example, if you want to understand the impact of changing your icon, Make sure to only change the icon and nothing else. Otherwise, you won't know what change is responsible for your results. And to get the most out of your A-B tests, you can use our app page preview before finalizing your designs to see how any new version of your creatives will look on your app page in light mode or in dark mode. Next, you can set up the experiment. Before launching your test, you need to define key elements like the test duration and audience split. The test duration depends on your audience size, the number of variations you include in your test, and the desired outcome. The smaller your audience and the more variations you test, the longer it will take to reach definite results. To account for weekly seasonality effects, we recommend a test duration of at least seven days so that weekdays and weekends are included. If possible, run your test for longer, up to 14 days. Try to time it in multiples of seven to avoid any seasonality effects from clouding your results. When it comes to the audience split, we recommend dividing store visitors evenly between your original app page and the different test versions. However, if you have a well-known app, and an established brand, and you'd like to test a very bold change, you could choose to only show your experiment to a small portion of App Store visitors. Finally, analyze your results and implement improvements. 
Once your test has ended, analyze the results next to the metrics you defined in step one. If you deem the test successful, you can implement the winning variations. If you consider the test inconclusive, draw learnings from what you did and implement them for subsequent tests. Apple and Google's A-B testing features are great tools, but they aren't perfect. The ASO community has reported several occasions where Google especially predicts false positives or conversion uplifts that never occurred. To avoid these kinds of results, you can run ABB tests. The ABB method consists of testing two of the same B variants against your current version A. If both B variants lead to similar results, these are likely to be true positives, whereas different results suggest the presence of a false positive. Understanding the elements that resonate best with store visitors is crucial to increasing your app's conversion rate. That's why we do recommend leveraging Apple and Google's A-B testing features to drive downloads and enhance your store presence.